sure. PLM's where we want them, okay. And then now, go ahead and and go down here. Now, according to this, it should move when we touch, and it does. Now, if you noticed also, the screen didn't scroll until right about here whenever she touched those the scroll blocks. When she touches, now this scroll is going to stay blue the entire time. doesn't go back to red unless she leaves the room and comes back in. So if we were to leave the room and come back in, now it stays red again. And it'll stay that way until she touches that. I must have touched it over there because now it works. <laughs> so it can get a little confusing. If you're going to have it two sides, you'd probably want to S on each side and also from above in case she falls through. But most of the time we'll have uh, scrolls like an area hidden like this out in the open. Normally you're going to have like some sort of tunnel that you have to roll through or whatever. So that's that. Now I'll answer your other question of how to add PLMs. But you really don't want to add PLMs because adding them takes a lot of knowledge on how to repoint your data or in other words put it into space that's free and not already used because when you're adding stuff you're writing new data that there wasn't room for before because they've already had it pretty compact when they wrote the game so if you're adding new PLMs you might be overwriting stuff in other rooms and then if you're creating a game the first whole area the whole criteria map might look fine but then whenever you get down to Norfair all of your rooms are all messed up and you can't edit them because they're giving you problems which might be what is giving you problems in certain rooms with the uh, box coming up but I doubt that that's probably just an older version of Smile or if it's a newer one I'm not sure because I've never ran into that problem but with adding them is not good. <laughs> like I said, the only time you want to add them is if you're making a one-room hack. Say you're going to use this landing room and just create a room with a, like a big maze with all your items like a couple of hacks have done. That's fine. You can add them because you're not going to be using any of the other rooms really. If you're making new rooms and you want, say, this room to have more than one, two, three, four, or five for this door cap, six for that one. If you want to have seven, go find a room that you're not planning on using a lot of PLMs. Say this next room, the main street, which has over well 15 or so PLMs probably more closer to 20 so you're not going to use really any in here maybe only a couple well there's an easy fix you just switch them and to do that you go to your edit pointers and you find the one that says PLM and you write this down 805A close it go back to your other room this one edit Go back to your pointers and notice this one's different, it'll be 8,000. Switch them, in other words, write 5A for here. Save it. Okay. Should reopen your room. And now you have all the PLMs in here that were in the originally the landing site. So now you have all the PLMs you need in here. But there's a problem. If you took this one and moved it over here saved it for whatever reason, maybe you made that in the missile pack and you're hiding it, and then you go back into the room that you took the pointer from in here, so you noticed it moved it in here too. So right now whatever you do to that room is also going to be done to this room. So you're going to want to switch this one to something else that you're not using. That or if you say you're using a room that has no PLMs and then you want another room that has no PLMs, you could use the same pointer since they're both going to be using no PLMs. So we go to our pointers, change this from 85A to all zeros. Save. Now the landing room is so big that a lot of the PLMs will probably be off screen. Like, I don't see any. And there's the four that were by our ship, which would have been right here, but the other ones are off the screen over here, so you just do help. Off screen PLMs to zero, 00, right there they are. All the ones that we were missing. So now we have our seven in here. And then same thing goes for enemies. You don't want to add enemies to a room unless you know what you're doing, um, repointing the data to some uh, free space in the ROM. But you can switch the pointers. If you have a room that you have some enemies that you're not using and you just have them off screen and then you have a room that has no enemies but you want to put enemies, just switch them around and then you're good to go. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Editing the pointers will be the same for either version of Smile. I uh, can't think of anything else. I think uh, that was your two questions for the most part. Uh, definitely don't stop asking them. I don't mind answering them. And you probably won't learn anything too much whenever you get to a certain point if you're not asking the questions. Because eventually you do hit walls and 
a lot of the stuff you aren't just going to find out by experimenting. Most of the time you just end up breaking your ROM by experimenting. <laughs> so, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. You just make lots of backups and then try what you want. And you'll find out it either will work or it won't. But uh, otherwise, I mean, a lot of the stuff I use in my newer hack that I'm making right now. So it's all stuff that you use all the time. So I think that's it.